this beautiful aurora over a terrain that will suddenly come into view at sunset in a moment is what we're going to build in the next two videos. The first video, linked above, did the grass and the terrain. In this video, we're going to add the trees. And then in the next one, we'll add the lighting and the weather. Let's get going. Here we are inside of our graph from the first video. We're going to create a new group here for our pine trees. And we're going to start off by using the same setup that we had for our grass because our pine trees are going to grow pretty much anywhere where we have grass. So let's create a blend of our grass green, grass yellow and cliff where we're adding the two grasses and subtracting the cliff, just like we did in the first video. To actually add our trees, we're going to need Map Magic Objects, which is a paid add-on to the free Map Magic. Uh, it's not too expensive, but it does cost you money, so check that out. But in order to add our trees, we do need it, so I'm going to install it. And now we have Map Magic Objects, we can add a scatter node in, as well as a forest node. And what these do is kind of interesting. We're going to add the soil blend into our forest and then we're going to add the scatter nodes into the forest node. If we take a look at what the scatter node does here, we can see that we are planting some seeds into the scene and these will be used inside the forest node in order to grow a forest from those seeds. So now we're adding our tree in, we're going to select one of our trees, this comes with the map magic objects, and you can see we have a forest growing around some of these points. Now these other points up at the top, we can't see them yet, just because of the positioning of the camera, so we'll move that in a moment. But we're going to play with the different settings in the forest to make sure it becomes dense, and, and uh, we want a, a very wooded area, I think, in, in this. But we'll take a look in a moment through the camera, and see how dense it is. So now you can see there's forests all over. Let's take a look under the camera. Uh, yeah, that's too dense. Let's reduce the density. And in play mode, yep, that looks okay. Not too dense, but if we look over the hill here, nice dense forest in the background. And while that looks pretty good, we can probably do a lot better. And that's the great thing about map magic. It's all procedural. Just muck about. See what happens. Try something. Might not look good. No problem. Just go back. It'll always look good in the end. So go and knock yourself out. Have a load of fun. Now that we're reasonably happy with the forest that we have, we need more trees. Map Magic Objects comes with a load of pine trees. So we're just going to make this a multi prefab tree object or tree node and add in all of the pine forests here. And that's all you need to do. Each one of the trees that get spawned in will be picked randomly from this group, so we'll have a nice variety of trees in our scene. Now there's another way that we can create lots of variety, and that's to add in an adjust node. And what the adjust node allows us to do is to vary the size, change the rotation, change the depth into the soil and so on. And so we're going to add that in and we're going to play around with that setting a little bit, make sure we get a bit more variety and then we'll come back and we'll tune where the trees grow. Now I want to prepare for introducing a different tree. So I'm going to have these pine trees growing more on the slopes and less on the bottom of the valleys and uh, the, the dips in the terrain there. And that's going to enable me to put some birches in. So this is just more of the same. Throw some nodes in, play around, experiment. Do not panic. You can always take the node out again and go back to what you had on before. Before we add any more trees in though, let's start by adding some stones. So we're gonna do this so we can look at a, uh, a really useful node that exists inside of Map Magic. So we're gonna start out the same way as we have done with other things. We're gonna create a, um, a scatter node and an adjust, and then we're gonna add in the stone object. And that'll just scatter stone objects throughout the level as, uh, as it did with the seeds for the trees earlier. But uh, next up, we're going to add in this special node called a slide node and what this node does is it creates an environment in which the objects will slide down the hill 
and depending on how you set up this node they will slide further or whatever but they'll end up in the place that they would end up if they'd been sliding down over millennia and so on and so you end up with a much more realistic landing or positioning of the stones and so we're just playing around with all the different settings making the stones appear at the right distance from one another and um, various different tweaks and just like before repeated it many times just play around, have fun, knock yourself out. And this is what it looks like once I've finished setting it up. There's only one stone comes with Map Magic 2, so there's not a lot of variety here, but you can see in the back there's a pile of stones there that have slipped down the hill and will just be moving away from a pile in the distance there. And ultimately it looks really good. So now it's time to add the birch trees in and get some variety into our tree species. The video is going really fast here. You've seen it all before, scatter node, forest node, trees, etc. I am also going to use a cavity node here that will allow me to keep the birch trees lower on the slopes and in the valleys themselves rather than up on the sides of the slopes. What it looks like is something like this. You've got an area of pine trees, few areas of beach, and they intermingle appropriately in various places around the map. So we have our trees and our terrain. Next up, we're going to do something that doesn't involve map magic. It's going to use an asset called Enviro, and that's going to give us the sky and the lighting and the weather effects that we see here. So subscribe. See you soon. OK, that's it for today. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you don't like what you're seeing. Thanks a lot. See you soon.